Well, good evening, all you uh, wonderful Ketonians out there. It's Dr. Adam Nally coming to you live from Waddell, Arizona. Um, sorry about the glare on my uh, uh, Periscope. It's kind of bright there. It's, it's a really weird color. It wasn't that way last night. Um, I'm dual streaming. I'm on a Periscope right here, and I'm on Facebook Live right here. I know it's late. I'm coming on about 9.45 my time. It's probably um, 12 or 1, or, yeah, 1 12, 15 in the morning uh, on the East Coast. So if you're awake in Brisbane, Australia, hello. How are you guys? Um, for those of you on the other side of the world, good morning to you. Um, I thought I would come and just do a quick uh, scope and quick uh, Facebook Live in regards to YBN ketosis, uh, reason number 14, uh, talking about MCT receptors and what that means to weight gain and weight loss. Um, Again, my name is Ad, Ad, Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board-certified family physician and a board-certified obesity medicine specialist. Um, if you like what you're hearing and you like my content, uh, go to docmuscles.com and sign up for my weight loss mini course there. Uh, like the page there, like the page here on Facebook, and share it out with your friends either here or on, on uh, um, a good morning to you as well. Uh, share it out on uh, Facebook or Periscope. Um, well, you guys are up late. Anyway, I thought I would uh, just give you kind of a four or five-minute uh, brief summary on what ketosis does to your cells, especially in the brain. Um, <clears throat> we miss you on Keto Talk, but I understand you have to make a choice. Yes, um, lots of lots of prep another time, and it was cutting into my ability to actually practice medicine, so I uh, had to back off there. And and uh, since I'm already doing this stuff with my face, my my website and uh, periscopes and live streaming, I thought I would continue that on and uh, carry on there. Anyway. Um, so when you're in ketosis or your body lowers its, keto, its glucose level and you raise your ketones from fat, um, I'm glad I'm here, jo Joanne, um, what you end up seeing is uh, over a period of about four weeks, an upregulation of what are called um, monocarboxylate transports. These are what are called MCT receptors. They're actually the little transporters in the wall of the cell throughout the entire body, and there's, there's about 10 of them, uh, numbers 1 through 10, that upregulate and downregulate various molecules. Numbers 1 and 2 specifically work on, on pulling um, ketones and lactic acid in and out of the cell. And then um, there's also glucose transporters in the brain cells as well. There's glucose transporters in all the cells of the body. Um, but specifically in, in what we see in a, in a state of ketosis where your body's using ketones as its primary fuel, the body over a period of four weeks upregulates the number of these fat transporters in those brain cells, and it actually upregulates the number of glucose or the GLUT1, GLUT1 transporters also in the brain cells. So what we see is that going into states of ketosis, uh, nutritionally actually improve your ability for your brain function to, to get and use both types of fuel. So it, that's a reason number 14 to be in ketosis. It, we see that it takes about four, four weeks or so in mammals, and so if you don't have a good source uh, or you have a very low um, number of MCT receptors in the brain because you've been eating a very high carb diet, uh, which is what happens to most people who eat the SAD diet or the standard American diet, we see that they can take about four weeks. And so you may experience some brain fog uh, because of that time delay in, in upregulating those receptors. Um, so there's a whole, whole slew of reasons that that can be beneficial. And so uh, that's the exciting part about being in ketosis. So reason number 14, it helps your brain get ketones more effectively. It helps your brain get glucose more effectively. And that's important because in a state of ketosis, your brain doesn't need the glucose for fuel. It needs it instead for the creation of neurotransmitters and it allows the brain to have more access to glucose to be used for neurotransmitters, which means that you make more dopamine, more serotonin and more uh, epinephrine in your brain, which actually makes your brain pretty happy. So that's actually really cool. <clears throat> um, hello all you, hello Manuel. And, um, April and Ken and Robin and Caden and Jennifer and uh, thank you, thanks for joining in and uh, on Facebook Live. I know there's a bit of a time delay, um, so that's the four minute um, reasons for being in ketosis. Uh, I figure since there's a bunch of you on here right now, if you have any questions, pop them in the chat bar or pop them in the uh, chat box and let me know. Sarcoidosis of the lung, any benefit from being in keto? Oh, of course, sarcoidosis um, has a tremendous amount of inflammatory effect. Uh, it, you know, it's 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 an inflammatory uh, problem that's affecting multiple areas, including the lung. And if you can actually change the inflammatory responses because you're downregulating insulin, which drives that inflammation, and you're downregulating a molecule called ASP, uh, that also decreases inflammation. A tumor necrosis factor drops. All those drop, and you actually see notable decrease in the overall inflammatory effect of the sarcoidosis. Now, it's not going to stop the sarcoidosis because that's caused by a whole other factor, but it decreases the symptoms significantly. If you have 1.5 millimoles in blood ketones, why would you experience brain fog after six months of keto? Um, 
you would experience brain fog be, for, there's a couple of reasons. Um, you can experience brain fog because of other factors, um, low sodium levels. So if you're hyponatremic or you're hypokalemic, meaning the sodium, potassium, magnesium, or zinc are down, those are all really good reasons. So make sure you're taking your electrolytes. That's the most common reason. There are others, thyroid issues, um, other metabolic disorders that can do that. You're very welcome. Um, hey, Carol, how are you? Welcome. Um, looking to see... Hello from Goodyear, Erica. Oh, cool. You're close by. How's Erica? Good to see you. Um, thanks for joining us here. Uh, my name is Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board-certified family physician and a board-certified obesity medicine doc. Uh, I, I'm a fat doctor. Uh, I specialize in ketogenic diets and weight loss uh, in the Surprise, Arizona area. You can find me at docmuscles.com. Go there. Uh, like my page. Sign up for the free weight loss mini course that we have there. Uh, sign up for the free the freebies that we've got, and you can, you can find all my scopes and all of my videos there and all my blogs there. Um, my, the, the site changed, so the first page that pops up is not the blog. Some of you have been a little confused by that. Um, you have to go to the page and then click on blog to find the blogs. Thank you for adding that in there, Mandy. DocMuscles.com, I appreciate that. That's great. Um, and then the audit, also you need to go and get a copy of Bacon Boy. Um, there's, if you go to the freebie page, you can actually print off um, Bacon Boy. And then what I would ask you to do as I pull him out here is he travels with me everywhere. This is Bacon Boy right here. I don't know if you can see him on Facebook. And this is Bacon Boy. You can print him off, and you can take him with you with you anywhere you go. And um, I've got I've got a prize for the person this week who actually finds the most unique place for Bacon Boy. It needs to be G rated, um, G rated, uh, but it, it, most unique place for Bacon Boy. Uh, bake, uh, hashtag Bacon Boy. Uh, actually, where is Bacon Boy? Is the hashtag? Am I coming to Austin KetoCon? Unfortunately, I am not. Um, I have another engagement that, that won't let me get there. Um, Phoenix, I'm at Plateau, if not gaining suggestions. Um, <clears throat> you're in Phoenix, Nicole. If you're at a Plateau, um, make sure you go back to the basics. Uh, look at your protein, look at your carbs, and then look at are you eating to satiety, number one. Number two, um, start checking some hormones. That's where you want to look at. Um, you just have your doc check it out and help you there. Ooh, bacon, yes, bacon boy. Uh, so where is bacon boy is the hashtag, hashtag. Where is Bacon Boy? And uh, take him with you wherever you go. And I've got a prize. Um, I'll give a free five-day keto pack uh, to the most unique Where is Bacon Boy um, picture that you you tag me in. Um, tag me with Doc Muscles or, or Ketonian King or Where is Bacon Boy, and we'll, we'll give away a free five-day uh, uh, exogenous ketone pack. T target breath ketone levels for endurance runners. Breath ketone levels. Um, Unfortunately, there's no great, everybody's breath ketone levels are slightly different, so there's no target level for breath, unfortunately. I wish I could tell you that. Um, you know, it, depending on the breath monitor you're using, their numbers vary, and, and they vary based on the physiology of the lung, so that each number will be slightly different. How do you recommend to recover from adrenal fatigue? Um, I don't think adrenal fatigue is real, to be honest. Uh, I think adrenal fatigue is one of three other disease processes, uh, often related to insulin resistance as one of them, them potentially others. Um, so adrenal fatigue is a, is a trash can diagnosis that actually has no real uh, valid, um, um, it's a syndrome, it's not a disease. Uh, oh, you're welcome on the breath ketone answer. Um, I was excited to learn how close you are. Oh, yes, Eric, I'm, I'm right in surprise. So just down the road from you. Hello, Michelle and Cindy and Marley. Welcome, thanks for joining. Uh, Dwayne, thanks for joining in. Um, last, let me just make sure there's no new questions on here. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them in the chat box, and I'll, I'll wait around for a second if there's any other questions. Share this out to all your friends and neighbors, those that you think would, it would, be, would benefit. Again, uh, we talked earlier in the first four minutes about uh, benefit number 14 of, of being in a ketogenic state and how that helps your brain cells function. Um, I have been combining olive oil with MCT oil to boost ketones and stay in ketosis. Um, I think that's great, Matthew. Um, the, the, the benefit of olive oil is it's a long chain fatty acid and long chain fatty acids actually have a better satiety effect than the medium chain triglycerides. I have a bunch of people that, that stock up on medium chain triglycerides, but they're still hungry. Um, it helps with fuel sourcing, but it doesn't necessarily suppress appetite as well as the long chains do. So olive oil is a great source of a long chain fatty acid that actually keeps you in a more, um, satiated state. So using olive oil as a cooking uh, is, is actually fantastic. Too much olive oil will make you nauseated though. I've experienced that myself. So be careful with that. Um, any tips on someone who's just starting a keto diet? Number one, keep the carbs low. Number two, moderate your protein. How do you recommend covering from androgen excess on, and lo low cortisol? If androgen excess, I missed the, part, the last part of that question. There was a question right underneath that, but I missed. I apologize guys. I was looking at Facebook. 
Um, you know, let me shift this over to this other screen so I can see the questions more easily on the same screen. They can look at you and catch the questions. So pop those questions back in about the uh, androgen excess issue that I saw you saw in there. I'm assuming what you're saying is that your testosterone is low and that you saw a shift in cortisol. Um, if you have actually a low cortisol, I, I would be checking adrenal function, number one, specifically and looking at an MRI of your adrenal glands. But in many cases, if your testosterone is low, it's usually secondary in, in 85% of the cases that I see, and, and it's related to insulin resistance. And going onto a ketogenic diet and suppressing the overall insulin loads um, does that. A lot of people that think they're in ketosis and aren't. They're doing low carb and they think they're in ketosis, but they're not, and, that's, and their insulin levels are still high enough that it doesn't fully suppress it, if that was the question. Um, do I recommend checking ketone levels? Yes, I actually do. Um, I am a big fan of the blood ketone meters more than the breath monitors. Common mistakes athlete, ma athletes make eating keto. Um, you know, depending on the level of athletics, um, a lot of athletes actually overdo carbs and protein, but there's a fine medium based on the amount of exercise you're doing. And so you kind of have to play with that. How to recover from androgen excess and low cortisol when keto isn't enough. Um, I'd, to answer that question, I'd have to see what, you're, what, what androgen you're actually measuring and what your cortisol level actually is. That's, that's a hard question to answer, which is to spam it on there. Um, it's a good question, and, but something more for, for, a, for to actually look at the specific numbers. Hey, Scott, welcome, and Gene, welcome. Um, you're a novice, had your thyroid removed. How do you get started? You stop eating carbohydrate, Donna. That's how you do it. Um, keep the carbs under 20 grams. Go to my website, sign up for my six-part weight loss mini course. It's free. It'll get you started, get you kick-started, and then you can start following my blogs. Um, one of the blog posts, uh, the most one of the most popular is the uh, 10 basic principles of ketosis. That'll help you get started too. Some really good things to look at there. So go to my website and sign up there, and that'll get you kick-started. Um, great questions, guys. Uh, does anyone need a prescription for the ketone meter? No, you don't. You can actually buy the ketone meter. The problem is the ketone meter is cheap as dirt. You can buy it at Walmart or Sam's Club or all those places. Actually, it's at Walmart. That's where I found it. I haven't found it at Sam's Club. Uh, but the ketone strips are hard to find. You sometimes have to order them. Well, I often have to order them through either Amazon or eBay um, or um, another uh, out-of-the-country source, and they're not cheap. Um, Superman or Batman? Well, it depends on if you like, um, um, you know, aerial photography or racing cars. Uh, is, is it unusual that after six months, the keto test strips show that I'm in ketosis? Um, you mean the ketone urine strips, I'm assuming? No, 80% of people who use the urine strips won't, be in, won't show ketones being passed after two months, but the other 20% will still show some ketones. Now, if you're not truly getting keto adapted, that's another reason that you may actually see ketones spill over in the urine, or if you cheated, or the carb levels are still too high, or the protein levels are too high. Great questions, guys. Um, fantastic. I appreciate all the good questions on here. Um, a dietary supplement. Are dietary supplements recommended? Yes. Go to my website at docmuscles.com and click on the, um, the links there and it'll show you which webs, which ones. I, I designed a brand. Yeah, docmuscles.com, just like that on there. Um, the, it's called the Keto Living brand and it's the Keto Essentials and uh, Berberine Plus that I recommend. Those are my, my, my vitamins that I recommend. Uh, I actually designed them specifically for weight loss and ketogenic diets. Do postmenopausal women need extra fat? No. Um, they actually, many postmenopausal women need a little bit of estrogen. Welcome, Terry, uh, or Taylor Corey. Cool. Welcome. Oh, it's your first day on Periscope. Woohoo! Welcome. Cool. Um, good questions, guys. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the shares. If you haven't shared this out, share it out with your friends and your neighbors, even the neighbor you don't like. Uh, and, uh, Go to my website at docmuscles.com and sign up for our, our freebies. Uh, print off your copy of Bacon Boy. I'm giving away a free five-day ketone pack, ketone trial pack to the most unique uh, Where is Bacon Boy post. So hashtag Where is Bacon Boy post that. Bacon Boy has his own website, by the way. Um, I'm told that low-carb, high-fat ketogenic diets will lead to a cortisol problem that could ruin you. That's absolutely false. And whoever told you that doesn't understand basic physiology 101, um, go ask them where they got their medical degree. Aaron Brazu, welcome. Um, Irene, welcome. Can exogenous ketones help with depression? I actually find they do. Uh, there's a number of, uh, there's actually three or four really nice research papers that show they do. Um, and I've got clinical experience in my office showing that they do help. They don't cure it, but they actually do help significantly. Um, what are the best fats to eat? Animal fat, butter, cheese, mayonnaise, bacon fat, all great fats, Jennifer. Uh, you are very welcome, Tammy. Uh, let's see, Amazon very inexpensive or very, they're very, they're, they're, they run like a buck to three bucks on the test strips uh, on in regards to your question, Michelle. 
can keto help ALS? Um, there's, there, there, I, th I think they're actually doing some research right now with ALS. I have not seen the actual data and outcome yet. Um, but the cool thing is, is that if you can improve fuel sources to the brain, there's a good chance you may see some benefit. What's the name of my company? I, I docmuscles.com, docmuscles.com. Um, that's my website. That's my online presence. Uh, I am doc muscles. Uh, my f actual practice is Nally family practice and I'm in surprise, Arizona. Uh, you can find me there at nallyfamilypractice.com. But if you link to Doc Muscles, it's got the links there. Um, Dr. Walls doing keto ALS research. I don't know that question. Yeah, thank you. DocMuscles.com. Does keto have any benefit for women going through menopause? Absolutely. Um, about 65% of the females I see in my office are over 65, and they do very, very well with a ketogenic diet. Ketoliving.com is where you can actually buy the vitamins. That's the manufacturer that makes them for us. So you can go there at ketoliving.com and, and order the vitamins to order up. Um, what's the name of my product? The Well, I have well, I the Keto Essentials is the vitamin. Berberine Plus is the berberine source. We have omega-3 fatty acids. There's curcumin and some other supplements that are on, on ketoliving.com um, that, that are there. The, the one that I designed is the Keto Essentials Vitamin uh, and also the Keto Berberine uh, with Jimmy Moore. Hello, Juan. How are you? Uh, you are very welcome, guys. Um, great questions. Thanks for all those for sticking in here and those of you guys that have been hanging out um, with all of us here. Uh, thank you for the shares and all the hearts. Uh, welcome, Sandy. It's good to see you. Um, well, hopefully you, it, this helps. I realize it's late. You probably want to get in bed so you can get up early in the morning and um, have your ketogenic bacon and print off Bacon Boy and take him with you to work. Uh, and then hashtag Where's Bacon Boy? Somewhere fun. So enjoy that. You are very welcome, Bryce. Have a good evening. I'm going to sign off since I must have answered all of your great questions. I'm going to try to pop on here nightly and see how you guys do. Uh, answering some questions and doing doc talk and or uh, benefits of ketosis. Yes, bacon. Bacon is awesome. Uh, there, there, Bobby. It's very good. Um, I love bacon. And you guys have a great evening. Uh, keep the fat high. Keep the carbs low. I'm Dr. Adam Nalick signing off. I'm Doc Muscles. Uh, go to docmuscles.com and I'll see it tomorrow. Have a good evening. Take good care, guys. Good night.